and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlette, and today is the May Strap Roundup. And this month is a small roundup. There's only two brands we'll be featuring today, an old favorite and a new favorite. And to start us off, I have the returning favorite, Halfston. This is new to the service series. However, it's not new to their lineup. Inside, we have the Fortress B in A2 alteration. Alex of Halfston has slowly been migrating all of his straps to the new a2 alteration that is a single pass option that is 1.3 millimeters thick and just like any other service series strap in a2 form it'll come in either 20 or 22 millimeters in width its total length is 270 millimeters that is excluding the buckle of course and each one of these is suitable for wrist sizes 6 to 8.5 inches in diameter I personally believe that the single pass method is the best route to go when it comes to nylon based options as it adds the least amount of thickness to your watch head and I've been wearing this option on my Helsin along with the brand new squadron series strap which we're going to focus on today. Now, unlike our Service Series Fortress B strap, this will only come with two hardware options, that being polished or brushed, as we have featured today. The Fortress B will also be provided with a PVD black hardware set, but here we have the Squadron in Seal Brown on my Helsin Shark Diver. Similarly to the Service Series A2 strap styling, we have a 270mm length leather strap option here. Of course, that is excluding the buckle end. It's also 1.3mm thick, so the same thickness as our nylon option, and of course, is made single pass. And for those of you concerned that your watch head may fall off this strap, I've never had any issues with my watches falling off of these single pass options. That's really why that secondary piece of fabric is under the watch head there so that the keeper on the tail end of that can hold your watch in place. Um, these are oftentimes thick enough, at least at 1.3 millimeters thick, half sense options are thick enough to make sure that your watch head doesn't fall off of the strap when you're taking the strap off your wrist. All that's to say, I prefer the single pass options, the A2 alteration and treatment that every single Halston strap is receiving. I think these straps just work better this way. And of course, they provide you the convenience of being able to easily slip on and off your watch head to switch up the type of accessory you are using. And if you're an accessory nut like myself, well, this is mighty convenient. Now, obviously, the pros to this strap are the same as any other Halfson. We have a floating keeper here, a secondary floating keeper with a wide range of mobility. So this is going to be perfect for sizing this to your wrist. And I'll show you exactly how I like to size these in just a moment. Unlike your typical NATO style leather strap, I don't like to flex the leather end over that secondary keeper and, and wear it by curling it. Uh, back through this keeper end, I tend to have it just resting at the tail end of that strap. And of course, I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. But as with all my reviews here, I like to start with the bad. And one of the only bad notes I can mention is that the underside of this leather strap is really rough. You will wear it down and it will become comfortable over time. However, I have to state that within that first week period, it was not a joy on the wrist. However, it has softened up through repeated use. Of course, if you're going to wear this squadron strap over a flight jacket, it shouldn't be an issue. But on the wrist raw, it's not very comfortable. Again, that's really the only bad note I can mention about the squadron series strap. It is a little uncomfortable out of the box. However, with time, it will break in and wear down and become more comfortable on the wrist, but you do need to commit to that time. Now, aside from the seal brown option we have in today, there's also a lighter russet brown option. They both come in at 2855, which is similar to the rest of Hafson straps. And of course, you can purchase them as a set for 5155. Now, generally speaking, I like to wear my Hafson straps, uh, at least these new A2 alterations, by sliding them through both keepers, and we'll just get it right in there. And then having that secondary keeper rest just before the Halfston logo, at least on the Squadron Series strap. I found that the Halfston logo works as a good place keeper as to where the secondary keeper should be floating when this is on your wrist. I've never had the tongue end slip out of this keeper when it has rested on my wrist. Generally, uh, this will tighten up around the keeper when there is an actual wrist in place. 
And this is a much better method in my opinion than curling over the leather strap. These do begin to wear down quickly the more you repeatedly curl these over depending on how you decide to wear them. I think just having it pass through and sliding the keeper over it provides a nice clean look without adding much girth and will help aid in the longevity of this strap's use. And here we have the Havston Squadron in seal brown on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. This is of course the 20 millimeter option on my Helsin Shark Diver. And I do love the look of these two in combination. And you can see what I mean. I, I do prefer single pass options these days. I don't generally wear, you know, traditional NATO style straps unless it's a Phenomenado and I'm feeling in that particular mood. I generally prefer single pass options these days as they add less thickness to the watch head. So that slimmer profile is much more favorable in my opinion. At least that's how I like to wear my watches now. And that could change, but I really do like the A2 alteration. I think it is the way to go. And that's a little bit of a redundancy. A2 stands for uh, alteration two, I believe. So um, this is the style that we can expect to see from Alex's lineup from here on out. Uh, with that, you know, hex head buckle, of course, with the different finishings on that buckle and hardware options. And, you know, why I showed you how I generally keep my keepers off the wrist as opposed to on the wrist is because it's really hard to showcase this guy when it's on the wrist. But you can see what I mean. Uh, it's not going to move from this spot unless I physically demand it to. And the tongue end will stay down because of that. And, of course, if you want to wedge it past that Halfston logo to keep the tail end just a little bit closer to the strap, you can do so. But that is generally how I wear it. The tag has never bothered me sticking out. And so far as good notes are concerned, well, that's everything else. Hafsen's really perfected their craft. They just make a fine strap. And, and you know, if you're a Hafsten enthusiast like myself, you'll know that they make some of the best straps on the market. The cut, the obviously the alteration they're working with now it just lends to a better fit and feel on the wrist and the leather itself is really nice and well oiled it has a nice texture to it and Haston guarantees that these will patina with time so i can't wait to see how this will look it's almost like any sort of vintage leather coat it's going to take on a life of its own the more you wear it and there's no doubt in my mind that this will last a good while if not a lifetime for most users Additionally, if you enjoy watch swag, Hafston was kind enough to send me one of these insignia patches. And it's funny, I, I don't usually uh, put patches on any of my garments and or clothes and or accessories, but I have a friend who does, and I'm probably going to hand these off to him because he'll likely get a kick out of this. But Hafston's gotten into the game of creating additional swag for those that enjoy their products. And this is an Army Air Force insignia patch, as you can tell. That is the reference number for the model here. And it is right inside. Uh, I have to cut that tape to show you, or I can just I can just rip it. Why don't we just, boom, take it off camera and handle it. That is the Army Air Force insignia patch. It's pretty sick. There's also one that's uh, space-themed that you can purchase from them to match the uh, previous straps I just reviewed here on the channel. And if you like patches, well, there you go. Tad, if you're watching this, this is for you. But gang, that is the squadron strap. I know a lot of you wanted me to talk about it on the show. I'm glad I was able to get one in so far. Again, there are only two colors. I'm sure he'll come out with other dyes and colorations for that strap. As it stands now, it's excellent. The next brand I want to talk about is a new favorite of mine, and that brand is Loof Watch Straps. I believe that's how you pronounce the brand name. I'm not quite sure what Jarrell's inspiration was for his company. Perhaps it has something to do with One Piece, but you'll notice of the packaging, there is a pirate flair to it. And uh, that's caused me to believe it has something to do with the anime series, that popular anime series. But of all the watch strap accessory groups to come out as of late, this is easily the brand to beat. Now, they're still developing their option range, but I was sent in uh, two suede leather straps, and the one I have on my spinnaker now is the tan version of their suede leather. There's, of course, a dark brown version as well as a gray version. And you'll see in just a moment that I received a few Lux NATO seatbelt style straps as well, but I do want to discuss these suede straps first. 
Either of these suede leather strap options will come in at $19.99 at 20 or 22 millimeters in lug width. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any options in regards to the hardware made available on these straps. It would be nice if you were able to purchase brushed hardware instead of the polished loof buckle we see here, but that is not the case quite yet. I do have to say though, the quality is certainly there. The hand-stitched accents on the ends of these leather straps are really nice and the suede has held up great in day-to-day -day use. And out of the pack, this is the slinkiest, most supple leather strap I've received in a while. Easily a favorite of mine and certainly better than the option Spinnaker had initially provided. Now, Jarrell of Loof Watch Straps hasn't provided any measurements for the suede leather strap options. I highly suggest you do so, but I will state that this is definitely going to be suitable for anyone with a six inch diameter wrist to an eight inch diameter wrist. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and it fits me just fine, but that is a concern of folks, consumers like myself. So it'd be great if you let us know what the measurements were of the tail end as well as the a buckle end of the strap. The site can certainly afford to be a little bit more descriptive, but these suede leather straps are excellent. And again, the packaging I received with both products was excellent. And again, um, I'll, I'll post another image up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the product packaging is literally on par with Halfston, in my opinion. They're doing a great job of delivering um, on both the product as well as the presentation. And I really like it when a group does that. But here you can see the suede, the tan suede leather strap on my spinnaker and it's a smashing look. I mean, this is really a nice suede leather strap. If you were trying to buy on a budget, you know, this isn't the best leather strap option on the market. But again, if you wanted a nice diversity of color at the right price, this is a good way to go. However, this this is really what I was looking forward to showing you guys. And one of the reasons I really do like this group. This is Loof Straps Lux NATO seatbelt style strap. And it is one of the finest seatbelt style straps I've received in a long time. And at that price tag of $19.99, they're really crushing the competition here. There are four color options currently available for the Lux NATO seatbelt strap, that being Blackbeard Black, Sunburst Blue, Bond, which is black with two parallel gray stripes, and they're a light gray uh, instead of a darker gray that you might see from another brand. And there's, of course, the Vintage Bond I'm holding here. It's black with two hunter green stripes and four red textured stripes running along those accent colors. And what I really love about the weave here is that it's both thin and features a really nice textured surface. And to give you a closer look, I've tightened up the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. But those red accent threads are slightly textured. They're a little bit thicker than the rest of the strap. And I actually really do like the look and feel of that on the wrist. You can see the texture of the strap from a distance and it just provides a certain life to your accessory. Uh, it's something I haven't seen from a lot of brands, but I really like how it's been executed here. So far as I can tell, this is the only option with that textured accent thread, and I really like that. It's almost similar to what I've seen from uh, the MN strap, as a matter of fact, with the single accent running down the middle, particularly of the loomed uh, accent thread, which is, is much thicker. Uh, this has that sort of uh, look and feel on the wrist, and I, I really do like the extra life that texturing provides. Now, just so you know, the hardware on this buckle is a 304L stainless steel, and it's provided in either polished or brushed. The width of these straps is 20 or 22, and similarly to Halfston, it's actually 270 millimeters in length, excluding the buckle end. It's rather interesting that I'd be hosting these two products in the same video because it seems like Loof Straps took a page out of Halfston's book with the sizing and scale of this seatbelt style NATO. However, they are still providing a more traditional, again, NATO style strap here. And you can see their logo on the keeper end that holds your watch in place. It is a skull with crossbones. Again, if you're a fan of One Piece, you might see what I'm talking about here. But the product itself is really of a higher quality. The sealed lug holes have held up extremely well. They haven't begun to fray. And I've been wearing this thing constantly on my Helsin Shark Diver. On the job, around New York, it, it's just held up so well. Again, little to no fraying of the strap 
at all. And the hardware options here are fantastic. It's very similar to Armilla, their aerial ballistic, uh, the keepers on those, uh, very thick, heavy duty keepers that are more rounded around the edges. However, I will state that the buckle here is a little generic. You know, I've seen this on plenty of straps. It's not unique to the brand, but that's fine. I think we're more interested in the strap quality here, but you can see what I'm talking about with the keepers and their rounded edges. It's just a nice look for the strap. And of course, they're very durable at that. Um, I do prefer this over a more rectangular cut, a more um, edgier look. I prefer the rounded edges of these keepers instead. So again, a little bit of Halfston, a little bit of Armilla, and pretty much everything I love in a strap. Is this going to take the cake for the best seatbelt style strap on the market? I wouldn't say so, but at $19.99, you're getting a, a ridiculous deal. And here is the Vintage Bond Lux NATO on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And you might be saying to yourself, why is Patrick wearing the strap backwards? Doesn't he know how to wear an accessory? Well, this particular NATO style option at this length, I prefer to have the nylon uh, tongue, the tail end of it, on the inside of my wrist. It, it's just better this way. I found in day-to-day -day use, it's less likely or less prone to catch on things as I'm wearing the watch and going about my day. You know, that's just how I choose to wear it. You can choose uh, whichever way you like, the right way up or upside down like I am, but I do prefer it on the wrist like this. And similarly to the Halfston options, as I've mentioned, the cut is exactly the same and the way the floating keeper works and operates is precisely the same as well. You'll shift that secondary keeper right where you want it. And uh, again, most like uh, the A2 options and the Halfstons I've had in the past, it, it won't move in day-to-day -day use once it's on the wrist. Uh, the fabric on the liner here does a good job of hugging that keeper in place. So you don't need to worry about this uh, flying out of the keeper in day-to-day -day use. This is clearly the accessory Jarrell and Loof watch straps has put their money towards insofar as the hardware options are concerned, as well as the color range thus far. This is the strap to get. The suede option is great, but for $19.99, with something that looks and feels uh, this nice and comfortable on the wrist, well, it's a hard item to beat, uh, from any brand that is. And to sweeten the deal, they've been nice and sent me a promo code for the first 20 people. If you are so lucky to be watching this now, there's gonna be a promo code on the screen. It's take time 10. If you're interested in trying this strap out yourself, you can do so with that at checkout. Of course, it's free shipping worldwide and you will get 10% off of your purchase. Again, this is only for the first 20 people, so hopefully you jump on the bandwagon soon, but I mean, the difference between $18 and $20 isn't that much anyways. And I have to say, again, this is easily one of my favorite seatbelt style straps that I've had in for a while. Jarrell, you knocked it out of the park with this seatbelt style strap. I really love the Lux NATO system. Again, it's borrowing a lot from a lot of different companies, but it's executing on it extremely well. Now I should state, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the thickness from my measurements is roughly 1.2 millimeters thick. Again, this is another measurement you should have on your website, but from what I can tell, it's roughly 1.2 millimeters thick. And speaking of the website, I actually have it up on my laptop here. And these weren't available when I checked out Lux or Loof watch straps website earlier, but it appears that there's a strap, an elastic type strap. It's very similar to the MN strap called the Elastico strap. That's $24.99. I think that take time code should work on that too. So if you want to check that out before me, that that would be awesome. But yeah, I would like to see those in the future. Those look fantastic. Again, fix your website to provide the relevant information regarding your accessories. That is all of the measurements and concerns, not only to your suede leather straps, particularly your suede leather straps, but also your Lux NATO options. Those kind of things are important to consumers like myself. Also, provide more color options and keep doing what you're doing. And honestly, I think Loof Watch Strap Company will be a brand to look out for. These straps are stellar. I really love this strap. Again, particularly at $19.99, that's a really good deal. But that is just my opinion. Of course, if you own one of these straps, let me know how it's held up for you 
in day-to-day -day use. And let me know if you got one of those Elastico straps as well. I'd love to see one of those in person. And that is it for the May strap roundup and old favorite returns and a new favorite arises. I really love what Loof watch straps is doing. I need to check out that Elastico option. I didn't know those existed. But just so you know, full disclaimer, these products were gifted to the show, so you can take my opinions however you choose. But in all honesty, this, this is something to look out for. The length of this strap, the cut of it, feel of it, it's, it's really great. Of course, if you want 316L stainless steel, you might need to look somewhere else in concerns to the hardware here. But at $19.99, you're getting a really smashing deal. At any rate, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up a new seatbelt style strap or a leather single pass strap, well, feel free to share this video with them first. The Squadron is an excellent leather option should they like wearing leather with their divers or fleegers. And of course, the seatbelt style strap, this is an old favorite for a lot of people and this is a new one on the market so feel free to share this video with them maybe they'll be able to jump on that discount while it's still being provided and if you're new to the channel well guess what i do videos like this monthly so feel free to slam that subscribe button while you're down there you can hit the little bell icon just next to that to be alerted as to when my videos air again my name is patrick marlette and thank you for the time